Jimmy Manua, just one day away from UFC in Sweden. What a big announcement during the special uh, press conference about you fighting Jan Bohovic. How excited ab ab you are about this fight? Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to, to fight, um, come to Poland and fight uh, Jan uh, Blakovic. He's a, he's a great fighter, he's, a, he's very experienced and stuff, good record and stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Is this the, is this the first time for you in Poland? Was you going to be there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm looking forward to it. Krakow is a good place to be at. Uh, so what what do you know about Jan Bohovic? Because actually I, I wrote you back a few days ago to ask you about this fight. I know you read it on Facebook. You didn't uh, respond. You're very top secret about your fights, obviously. Yeah, I, I, st I stick to the rules. Uh, if I can't say if I can't say anything on the fight, I'm not allowed to. So, you know, I can't say anything until um, it, it, it's announced and stuff. So, um, anything yeah, interesting about him? About Jan Bohovic? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a great fighter. Um, he's a he's he, he, he's a grappler. He's a good striker. He's a good all rounder. He's 18 and three. He's a veteran and and uh, he's been he's been around a long time. And um, yeah, he's a, he's a tough Polish man. <laughs> and what's what's the advantage for you in your opinion? Because obviously, you think you're better than him, right? Like every fighter does. As a fighter, I think I think if I touch anybody, it's gonna hurt. And so, you know, it's not it's not it's not anything against him or anything. If I hit somebody. They they're gonna go down. So that that that's that's how it happens. Look at my record. I've got all of my all of my wins are stoppages. I don't go to decisions or nothing like that. So you know it is what it is. I've, I'm coming there to do a job, and the job will get done. I think you're ranked number ten right now in lightweight uh, light uh, light heavyweight. Uh, I think so. I think yeah, so. And he's not ranked. The, rank, he's not ranked in UFC yeah. uh, so far. So looking at, do you look at, at stuff like that? Not really. I don't. I don't really pay attention. I only um, focus. I only. Fo um, my main focus is getting to the uh, the top of the division and uh, being number one in the world. That's my main focus. And I know where I am in the rankings and that. But I'm not, I'm not concentrating on that. Mm -hmm. And you were injured after uh, b between uh, last fight and, and this fight. Mm -hmm. So how how healthy are you right now? I'm 100% healthy, and um, I'm uh, I got, yeah I got injured before I was meant to fight Shogun, and uh, you know um, that fight got cancelled in in October I think it was, and um, yeah I'm looking to I, 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 I'm, I'm coming back strong. And um, you know I'm, I'm ready for April. I know you guys were not happy about this fight in Poland with your friend Carlos Prada fighting Kamil Webkowski at Pil MMA. Yeah. You guys told me so many times about it. So mm. is, is there anything special you would like to add? Um, you know, it, it's, it's the, the situa that situation there with Carlos Prado is um, really disappointing. I watched the fight myself, I, was, I watched it live uh, f from the stream and, um, you know, I, I, thought, I thought he won all the rounds and everything. But, you know, you go to another, you go to another country and I, I just don't understand how his teammates and the, the other fighters' teammates and stuff were, were judging, judging the fight. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's fair and stuff, but you know, it happened and, and um, I just hope it, it can get fixed. Mm -hmm. Overall, maybe a rematch or something, because it's not fair. It's not fair on the opponent if they come, come, they win the fight and, you know, but my fights do not go to decisions. <laughs> so, you know, um, there'll be a stoppage, knockout. So that, 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 that's, what, that's what I'm concentrating on. So w what do you think, uh, how did Jan Bohovic uh, work for, for the fight with you? Because you're a ranked fighter. So it's obviously this fight is better for him because mm -hmm. he can uh, he can move move up in the ranks rankings. So how did he deserve for this fight, in yeah, your opinion? He, do you know what? He beat, he beat a, a, a good fighter in Ilya Latifi. And, um, you know, he... he, he I don't. I don't look at he. Ah, oh, he deserves to fight me and this, that, and the other. Fight's a fight. Anything can happen. So I'm. I'm not. I'm not really um, looking at that and and everything. He's a great fighter, and and you know I, I don't see myself as, oh, he's not good enough to fight me or, or or whatever. I don't look at that. He's a great fighter and it's going to be a great fight.
He's a, he's an ex KSW champion. You probably heard about this uh, yes. event. Yes. But did you did you hear about Jan Bohovic before he was in UFC? Yes, 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 yes. I feel I've been offered to fight him a couple of times, and or oh, at least one time in that. And um, yeah, we, we know about him and that. And he, he's he's a great European fighter as well. So every so we all know about each other. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, so yeah, we I do know about, about him. And finally, last question: uh, Was there any chance that this fight gonna be the main event? Because uh, this is what I heard before Mirko Krop Krokop was announced with Gabriel Gonzaga as the main event. So, you were the guys that's supposed to be the main event. That's what I heard. How much true is it? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I knew we were gonna fight uh, about two, three weeks ago, but I didn't know where on the card it where, where on the card it would be. I am a main event, main card fighter, because my, my fights are always exciting. I always go for a knockout. I'm, a, I'm an exciting fighter. So, you know, I never I've, I haven't been to the decision once. I think I've been to the second round like twice in 15 fights. So, you know, my, my, my fights always first round knockout, second round knockout and everything. So, you know, um, that I, I deserve to be main, <laughs> main card, main fighter. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really care about that. I just want to go in there and get, get a job done and everything. So, yeah. I gotta add one more because obviously your first loss did uh, a hell of a job with learning experience probably. Mm -hmm. That's what all the fighters say, uh, says, right? Yeah, so what yeah. did it learn? Um, you. Mate, it taught me, it taught, taught, it, it taught, uh, sorry, yeah, not learn. It, it, <laughs> it, it taught me a lot, it taught me a lot. And um, mate, if you would have seen the shape I was in for the Shogun fight, I was a, I'm a totally different fighter from the, than I was from, from the last fight that I lost. So, you know, it's what it is. You'll have to wait till April the, uh, the 11th to find out. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Even though he's a Polish guy, friend of mine, I wish you luck in Poland. You don't, you don't mean that really. You want him to win. <laughs> no, I, oh, seriously. <laughs> I don't mind. Nah. It's, your, it's your job. He's from your country. It's all good. I wish you the best fight as I possible. Wish you, I, I wish you the best of luck in your um, reporting <laughs> job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.